Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And it's time to take a look at some new MagSafe accessories for your iPhone. I really wish that I would have seen more and more accessories come out. It seems kind of slow in development. I do have the actual original battery pack from Anchor that they have for MagSafe. However, they've come out with new models. I believe they're calling the Series 6. So there are a few different ways to charge. There's an updated battery pack and stand. This is also a stand that will charge your AirPods on top of it. There's even a magnetic phone grip. So this actually isn't a sponsored video. I just was interested in trying these out, seeing if they're worth getting. So I just went out and bought them. So I will link to all of these down below, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new MagSafe accessories from Anchor. So let's check these out. I'm actually pretty excited. Now I do have all of the sizes of the iPhone 13, 13 Pro Max, the 13 and 13 Pro are the same size and I have the 13 mini. So you can kind of take a look at what some of these MagSafe accessories look like on the different iPhone sizes. Anyways, snap charge flow, snap charge flip. On these two, there's a couple others we'll take a look at in just a second, but you'll see series six. So these are the new ones. Let's go ahead and actually check out the flip one first. So taking a quick look inside, we have our magnetic wireless charger to start. It does have some weight to it, and I think that's on purpose. A lot of grip down at the bottom. This is actually pretty small. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger according to the pictures, but I'm glad that it's smaller, but it definitely has a lot of weight so that it isn't sliding around even if it's at an angle. It has a ton of grip that I'm noticing down at the bottom. Now the mechanism, let's go ahead and flip it up. So here's how it works, just kinda sits closed where you can set something on the top or you can open it on up and charge two devices at once. Um, you probably could do two phones. We'll test that out once I get this plugged in. And yes, this is USB type C. There's a little magnet, can you see me? No, but you can kinda see the camera. <laughs> Also, all of these accessories come in different colors. There's blue, black, I think some of them in purple. So some different color options to fit your specific aesthetic. But this one feels and looks very premium overall. I'm impressed so far. Let's test it out. Let's get it plugged in and test it out. And yes, inside it does include a folding charging brick. This is at 20 watts with a USB Type-C to Type-C cable to plug into our charger. So let's get it all plugged in. All right, let's plug this in for the first time. You'll notice the bottom has a light to it. Pretty cool. Um, it just turned off. I'm guessing if I set something on here, you know what? Why don't we just try that out real quick? Set something on there. It is charging and there you go. I'm going to do this. Yes, perfect. As expected, strong magnet. It does feel strong. It found the spot to charge right away. Uh, you actually, you'll see it kind of lifts it up if you pull it a certain way actually, which is kind of nice because then you can angle it how you want to. There's a bunch of different degrees you can angle it. So uh, if you do have it sitting here, you can just set it on down and you don't have to worry about it falling. Like I said, I'm flipping it upside down. It's definitely not gonna fall out. I'm really not worried about it. Uh, you can also twist it, which is huge because obviously if you have it sitting here, you can angle it certain ways to watch a video without having to actually hold your phone. So yes, it goes 360 degrees. Just spin it all the way around um, and you can close it. So if you want it completely horizontal, that's an option. Now let's quickly try out the iPhone 13 mini. Again, very simple and the big one, the 13 Max and it sits there. Um, again, has more weight to it, and I still, I, I should have put my hand underneath, but still feel comfortable with the, oh yeah, definitely the strength of the magnet that it's not gonna fall. I'm comfortable enough to not even put my hand underneath. Okay, so, quick test. Let's go ahead and set this down. It's charging. Let's grab our AirPods, and down at the bottom, it did light up, so it is charging. However, uh, I don't know if there's a magnet there, actually. Let's try a phone. No, so the bottom part doesn't actually have a magnet, but it is charging if you said, yeah, so it's still charging if it sits like this. So you can charge two phones at once. I don't know what kind of speeds you're gonna get out of it because it is made to have your phone and your AirPods sit on there. Uh, however, it is an option to charge two phones at once, but keep in mind, this bottom part doesn't have an actual magnet. So the top part is the, is the magnet so actually pretty cool. This seems very useful, especially obviously if you have uh, two devices, maybe even a watch. I think you could just set down your Apple Watch and if you have the wireless charging model 
and give that a charge. So a lot of versatility to this one, especially because you can look at it vertical, horizontal. If you don't even have this, you can just have it sit like that. And again, very premium design, a lot of weight to it. It's not gonna slide around, a lot of grip at the bottom. So uh, definitely seems like a really good option if you need a charger like this. Okay, next up is the Anchor Magnetic Phone Grip, which again, is a cool use of MagSafe. I think there's a lot of great options that you have. Now this one, I just kind of wanna make note, I saw in some of the reviews that uh, you might wanna be careful if you have a case on your phone with this one. So definitely check out the reviews. I will link to everything I'm talking about down in the description. So here it is. Uh, it's just basically a ring that you can put on the back of your phone if you set it down. Uh, very strong, again, very strong magnet, which I'm happy about. If you make a third-party accessory for something that's uh, compatible with the magnets, it's it's really nice to have. And I think this was it. You can kind of slide it, and I think sliding it with a case kind of left some marks on the actual case. So again, just kind of be a little bit careful with that. Uh, I like how it can slide so easily, but again, it's very strong and sturdy. This will give you an option to uh, let it sit up on a table, but then also you have a grip to kind of put uh, your finger through. So if you're taking pictures or just doing something with one hand, maybe not the mini, obviously it's a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and maybe put it on uh, something like this one with the Pro Max, uh, much larger. Again, very strong magnet. I'm not worried about it popping off. And it sits flat like so. Um, so you can set it down. It does raise it up just a little bit, but fairly slim profile overall. Pretty cool and unique. Again, keep in mind with it sliding around, it might actually uh, rub into your case that you actually have. And on to our next MagSafe accessory from Anchor. This is a two-in-one wireless charging station because it has a detachable battery pack with a magnet in it for your phone. However, a stand that you can charge multiple devices at once, all wirelessly. So you'll see you have it in the stand. And then of course you can detach it and bring it with you. Kind of a neat concept overall, to be honest. It, it, it's definitely nice to see uh, just companies using MagSafe as a tool. And again, like I mentioned, there's multiple colors. I just happened to get the white one. Uh, they go in and out of stock and white was in stock at the time that I ordered. I'm noticing that more colors are now in stock. Again, I'm linking to, I will link to everything down below. So here is the new Anchor battery pack. This is actually a 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack. Actually very slim overall. Also want to make note that when it's in the stand, you'll notice connectors down at the bottom. So this will charge the battery pack when you place it down. Again, great, because then when you detach it, you know the battery pack's going to be charged and ready to go. And then the base at the bottom here is another part where you can charge. It says AirPods, but again, maybe a watch, maybe even another phone. It might not charge as fast as you want it, though, if you're charging two phones at once. Again, down at the bottom, the same style of grip as the other option, so it does have a ton of grip so it doesn't slide around. And cable management here uh, for, I would assume, the cables that they include. So this one includes a folding charging brick. This is a 25 watt charging brick and our USB Type-C to Type-C cable that you plug into the back, or the, I should say the bottom of this stand. Now I do wanna mention all of these accessories have been very premium. This is no exception. Now, this stand will actually tilt up and all the way down like so. So it does have some viewing angle options. It doesn't twist like the other one to go horizontal. So if you're interested in that, you might wanna go the other route. Now, let's take a closer look at this battery pack. Oh man, it's just got a nice soft touch feel to it. Down at the bottom, USB type C ports. You can charge it separately. It doesn't have to be in the stand to actually charge it. That's nice, especially if you're just bringing it with you on the go, you need to charge it up a button for power and just says anchor down at the back and LED light. So if I press this power button, yes, they did light up to let me know their specific charge. Also, this is 0.45 inches thick. So less than half an inch thick. And here is just a quick comparison with the original Anchor 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack, which was a little bit bulkier. Uh, you'll see it's a little bit taller, but they were able to slim it out for sure then with the newer battery pack. So a nice option. I actually like the taller, slimmer look and a little bit more bulky 
with the previous original model, which has been great, by the way. I've been using it for a while, essentially since it came out a little while ago. And as usual, let's grab our phone. So this is the iPhone 13 Pro. If I go ahead and set it down, you will see it is charging. So it recognizes, starts charging right away. But since it's a little bit more uh, long compared to the other model, it's more slim. However, just kind of sits out towards the bottom, which I would think is okay. It's really not a big deal on this device. Again, this is the iPhone 13, 13 Pro, same size essentially. But I do like the soft touch feel that it has, gives for a nice feel and covers more surface. So it's not as grabbing onto it. You kind of can still grab onto the phone. There is a little bit of space, but the magnet does feel strong overall. It doesn't feel like it's actually going to uh, pop off. Uh, it does wiggle just a little bit, but it does stay charging while it wiggles. Now, real quick, I'm curious to see what the, what the mini is going to look like with this. So again, it just kind of sticks out a little bit more down towards the bottom. So it still avoids the camera module. It works great. Uh, it stays, you know, magnetically connected to the device. But when you're looking at it, you'll notice a little bit more of a bottom chin on the mini. Now with the Max, I bet you it lines up actually while looking at these. Okay, sorry, I had to actually grab it out of my pocket, but let's go ahead and snap this on and look at that. The Max is actually too big, so it doesn't actually even go over the edge of this model. So here's a look at the back, has some space overall, definitely some nice surface covering. I do like the overall design of this one better though. Even if I had the mini, I'd rather have it kind of sticking out than sticking, protruding out, uh, making it deeper. The thinner you can get it, the better for me, especially when putting it into your pocket. Okay, so let's incorporate the stand, give it a quick look. So sliding it on down, it's obviously not plugged in, but even if you had it upside down, I'm still fairly confident that it's going to stay stuck to the charger. Uh, setting it down, um, you can tilt it up, down, and it will stay there and actually still charge because obviously it's connected to a battery pack right now. So it is still charging, but you still have the option to charge two devices at once and the battery pack itself. So let's get this plugged in. Okay, so like the other model, it does have an ambient light down towards the bottom. I like the cable management so that uh, you can, you know, keep it out of the way. Now let's go ahead and set a device down underneath. It isn't, doesn't feel like a magnet again, um, but it is charging my AirPods there. There's that light that just turned on. Let's actually take this off. And I'm gonna set one of these phones down here. Yes, so it does charge a phone, so you can charge two phones at once technically, but again, this will now charge that battery pack. And uh, you even have a space here to take a look at the status indication of the battery pack. So if you're waiting for the back, the pack to be completely full, you can just check it out through that little gap there. So another really neat implementation. So while it's on your desk or wherever bedside, you can just go ahead and set it on down, charge your AirPods. Maybe you wanna set your phone on down, you're going to bed, whatever. And you know, when you go ahead and slide the pack out, you have a fully charged battery pack now that you can bring with you. So I really like this one. I think this is the one that I would actually go with and buy. Okay, our final product here using MagSafe is actually just the battery pack. So it's like this battery pack. However, it has an additional feature built in. Again, these have different colors. This comes with a USB Type-C to Type-C cable, no charging brick, but you get your battery pack. Now this one's just a little bit different. I'm happy I got the blue actually because I'm probably just gonna keep this one as well. Um, because it has a stand portion. So this is actually foldable. You can open it, looks like right here, and fold it on up in different ways. I kind of need to learn how to do so, but this will actually go ahead and sit on the back and charge your device with those same strong magnets that all of these other options had. But I did want to do a quick size comparison because these are both 5,000 milliamp hours. This one looks like it's a little bit thicker, but again, it has that added functionality than the other battery pack down towards the bottom. Um, USB type C port, status indicator light, and power button. Again, it doesn't have this uh, connector for the charging because obviously it doesn't come with the stand. And I really do like this blue color overall. And a quick comparison between the original, again, not as tall, but also definitely thinner 
with the new battery pack. And again, these are both 5,000 milliamp hours. You've got the added functionality. This blue goes very well with my iPhone 13 Pro's blue. Anyways, let's go ahead and set it on down. You'll see, just starts charging. Same thing where this one protrudes out just a tiny bit with the 13 model, so that's kind of nice. Again, you can charge it via that USB Type-C port, that very soft touch premium feel. I do really like how uniform it is kind of around as opposed to it having more space on the inside. Now, let's go ahead and try out the stand. So this peels off like so. I actually think there's magnets that keep it on. So if you do peel it off, you'll notice actually on the back, there's a bit of a section to let you know. It's really easy. You just go ahead and set it like that. Use just magnets and there you go. You can go ahead and just use it as a stand. This is cool. I like this a lot, especially when I travel, I bring battery packs with me. And this eliminates when I sit on a plane or something, I can use it as a stand. But now the one thing I was kind of curious about is can I use it? It is charging still, and I can. Check that out. I can put it horizontally on the battery pack, which makes me realize on the old stand, I can just go ahead and set it down like that. I don't actually need to twist it like this one does. So this one does twist and you can just twist it while it's charging, but this one you have to actually pick up and you can angle however you actually want it. But again, this is this is perfect. Um, I'm definitely going to be bringing this charger with me now that it does have that stand built in and it sits so flat. Just look at how thin this stand piece actually is. It's so thin and it, again, has that really nice soft touch feel. Let's go ahead and grab our iPhone mini. Just a couple more phones to drop down and charge. There we go. So it does avoid the camera module, protrudes out down towards the bottom a little bit more. So you've got the chin with the iPhone mini, but again, definitely prefer it being a little bit more flush with the outside. And finally, the big one, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Obviously you've got a little bit more space with this one. So there you go. So definitely, I would recommend this one. This one is awesome, actually. Really happy with this. If you need something like a stand, this is really cool to have because you can charge two devices at once and essentially wirelessly charge the battery pack as well. You don't really need to plug it in, essentially. And then you can just bring it with you on the go. So anyways, that's everything from me on Anchor's MagGo series. I love that they're taking advantage of MagSafe because MagSafe on a phone is so useful. As you can tell, there's a lot of great uses for it, whether you have something to hold on to your phone, a stand, a battery pack, different options to mount your phone when you're watching content. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I'll link to all these products down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.